Hello, this is Maida with So So Easy and this is the tutorial that goes with the pyjama shorts that we have published on our website last week. It is a free pattern, it's a perfect project for a beginner and makes a great present. I will be showing you how to make the pyjamas longer or wider, how to place the pockets, how to sew the waistband, a very quick and easy waistband and uh, how would they look like if uh, you were to use a different kind of fabric so join me for first we're going to talk about how to make the pattern a little bit larger after that we will start sewing so forward to minute five and then we will start sewing then Let's talk about first how to shorten a pair of pants. And let's say that you are happy with the width but you just want a little bit longer. Notice this line, this is the fold line for the hem. When I am going to shorten the pants I have to keep in mind a little triangle. When I fold it up and where the stitching line is supposed to be, that is as wide as the pants. So when I shorten a pair of pants, I need to take that bit in consideration. If I am going to cut that line, make it a little bit higher, you have to redraw that little bit that is missing. The, this technique will also make your pants a little bit wider at the bottom. So that is the triangle I'm talking about. Keep that in mind if you decide to cut on the fold line. The other way is to draw a line about mid thigh and then draw another one as long as you want the pants to be shorter. Let's say one inch. So I draw one inch and then I fold up. The important bit here is to keep this grain line straight and then you tape it and redraw the side. I don't have to worry about the little triangle because it's already there. All you have to do now is to tape some paper in the back and redraw the line once again. Now we're going to lengthen the pants and I am going to use this, the line that I previously drew and cut all the way through, dividing the pattern piece in two. You will do the same for front and back. I am going to draw a placing line where I will tape the top part of the pattern and then I draw the amount, uh, the amount that I want to add to the pattern. In this case I'm lengthening by one inch. You can do two inches if that is what you need or more. I tape the bottom of the pen of the pattern and redraw the lines. I will add a little bit more paper to the crotch line because the line will completely be moved as you will notice in a few minutes. One important point that I forgot to mention when you're taping the second part of the of the pyjama pattern is that you need to tape in taking consideration the grain line. It should be really straight. Uh, you keep always the grain line really really straight. So I'm now with redrawing the line of the pattern and cutting the excess. I will do this in both sides. Both sides. I'm sorry, my accent. I am ready to cut on the fabric. You will need two pieces for the front and two pieces for the back and the pocket pattern. All this is on our website and it's a free pattern. If you need to grade from size 42 to 44, all you have to do is add half an inch to the front and the back of your pattern on the side as I am doing now. 
I am actually grading two sizes up which is all the way to 46 and I'm adding one inch on the back and one inch on the front. After grading the pattern to 44 and 46 I recommend you make the pocket a little bit larger. In this case I'm adding half an inch to the pockets. Cut four pieces and place them print facing each other and sew a one fourth of an inch on the side. After sewing the pocket we will be sewing the sides. Needle down at one fourth of an inch, sew to the top of the pocket and then iron. After you have ironed the four pieces, place the front, one front and one back together and pin the pockets and pin the sides. We are going to sew both at 5 8 of an inch. Do this for the other side of the leg. Start with the inner side. After sewing the inner sides together, front and back, I have used the zigzag and you can use a serger if you have one. Proceed to sew the pockets at 5 eighths of an inch as well. And also clean the edges so it looks very good. I am not using a serger but you go ahead and use yours. As you can see the sides are completely finished. We will now sew from the top of the waistband all the way to the to the top of the pocket and then from the hem to the notch or the little dot that was in your pattern. You feel free to sew a little bit higher if you think the pocket is if you need the pocket to be a little bit deeper that's fine it's up to you it also depends on the size of the hand of the person who's going to be wearing the pants for added security yes I would do it a little bit higher so a 5 eighth of an inch do not deviate from this this is very important that it is at 5 eighth of an inch start from the dot making sure there is um, two seams the one fourth and the one fifth overlap so there's no gap on the pocket After sewing the inner side and on the sides where the pockets are, I have decided to go a little bit higher to make the pocket a little bit deeper so things don't come off, come out. Uh, turn your both legs, uh, print side out, and pin the crotch. These two seams um, might get a little bulky, so you make one seam face the front and one seam face the back to reduce the bulk of the seam. So add 5 eighths of an inch and then clean the seam again with a zigzag or your serger. I'm almost done sewing the crotch and after this I will use a zigzag um, or the well, one of the stitches that looks like a serger, except that the seams won't be cut. I iron the sides where the pockets are. Uh, the seams are open, so I'll iron them open. And the reason for that is because I'm going to pin the pocket to the front. And how to know what's the front? Because the crotch is shorter in the front than the back. And the front part, the front side, is always narrower than the back. So pin the pockets to the front and we're going to tack. Tacking means going back and forth to reinforce an area. You will see it is normally on the, where the zipper ends on in jeans or in pockets to reinforce the opening of the pocket in a, and avoid it from ripping. If you are making the pants to sell in the market, 
you need to make it to the standard measurements so if it is size 28 that means the elastic is 28 inches and then close the seam allowance so here I am I have cut the elastic to the size of the person that is wearing it plus one inch the seam allowance is half an inch once you have done uh, sewn the elastic thread the pens through this loop and fold the waistband down catching the top of the pocket by about two eighth of an inch pin it on both sides and uh, both pockets and make sure that uh, the pockets are facing forward pin four places front back and sides to make sure that uh, the waistband is going to be even and it's going to be the same size everywhere so at one eighth of an inch make sure you don't sew over the pins it's not a good idea to do that because you can break the needle and don't leave any pins inside the waistband it's a very common mistake when you are starting to sew when you start sewing the waistband with your needle down Pull the elastic towards you while guiding the project with your left. Never pull the fabric with your left hand because this will cause the needle to break as well. Once you have done the waistband, proceed to sew the hem. Sew it at one eighth of an inch as well and either uh, use your serger or uh, fold it as I've done it so it looks uh, nice and neat. Notice that my uh, seam allowance is open on the sides where the pockets are and this is so that that seam is not bulky. After hemming the pyjamas we are going to tack the pockets I am making two tags per pocket, however the top one is absolutely uh, optional. Now you can see the tags and they are not very wide, about a centimeter or half an inch, less than half an inch really. You can see the waistband is very soft against the skin and it's a super super quick waistband to make. You can add one more stitch in the middle of the waistband to secure the elastic if you want. The pockets do give them that little different look so they don't look so much like pajamas when they are worn. This has been Myra for So So Easy. Thank you for watching and thank you for your comments. Questions or criticisms please leave them in the box below and I thank you for your support. Above all I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and feel free to download the pattern from our website. It's absolutely free. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.